the legacy of the Trinh sisters. Duc Trinh and her sister Nhi were born in a northern Vietnam province. Brought up in the military as daughters of General Lac, they spend their time studying and learning the art of warfare and martial arts. The Han Dynasty occupied Vietnam and enforced the Chinese culture way of life for 247 years. Growing up, the sisters witnessed the cruel treatment endured by the Vietnamese from their Chinese overlord. One day, their father introduced his friend's son, Sek Thi, to the Chung sisters. Immediately, Sek fell in love with Jack during the visit. Soon after, they were married. When the Chinese rule grew intolerably, Jack and Sek made a stand against the Chinese. The Chinese then executed Sek as a warning to all the rebellion. His death triggered Chuck to finish their cause. In 39 AD, Jack and Yi successfully fought off a small Chinese unit from their village. Then they appointed 36 women, including their mother, to be the general. They also recruited and trained 80,000 troops. Within months, they had taken back 65 citadels from the Chinese and liberated Vietnam. The sisters became queens of the country and managed to resist all Chinese attacks on Vietnam for over two years. By 43 AD, the Chinese gathered a huge army and invaded Vietnam to destroy the Trinh sisters' army. One of the Trinh sisters' generals, Ding Thị Phung, gave birth on the front line. With the baby in one arm and a sword in the other, she continued to fight the battle. However, the Trinh sisters realized that they were outnumbered and to fight further would mean capture and ultimately death at the hands of the Chinese. Therefore, the two queens committed suicide by drowning themselves in the Hazang River to protect their honor. Some of their loyal generals continued to fight to their deaths while others committed suicide in hopes of returning to their respected commanders, the Trung Sisters, the legacy of the Trung Sisters. <laughs>